Hey, this is Freelancer, and we're going to be continuing on with this Mountain Blade Warband game. And uh, so here is our new MVP board. We've got Salah, the most improved. He's now killed a swatting man at arms after doing nothing for the entire month we've had him. And Zia is now our uh, MVP for the previous video with a load of kills. So he's going to replace uh, Baki in that um, exalted position of MVP. Yeah, so uh, we're just going to keep on continuing on around um, with our people. And we were on campaign. I don't really think there's a whole lot going on right now. But we'll go into the town and try to find the guild master. And he's going to be up on that, that balcony. So we'll just take a quick little journey over to him. There we are, looking uh, nice with our Serenade gear on. And yeah. So what we're trying to do is build up our financial base. So we're going to see if we can uh, get any enterprises. And that'll be a good one. Nice. Nice, good old job, or a uh, rather investment. So it'll take, I forget what it is, 29 weeks, I think, to pay itself off. Did I do that math wrong? No, I believe I did it right. 10,000 from about 600. Yeah, about 29 weeks. Um, but it'll make sure that we make a profit every week, which, so it should pay off in the long run anyways, uh, assuming we survive that long. And then we're going to go back and find our marshal. There he is. Just follow him around for a little bit. So yeah, I've, I'm probably going to try to lead off uh, every video with the MVP, um, MVP poster, I guess. And uh, yeah. <laughs> Might even do like the least. If somebody just doesn't do anything for a really long time, maybe I'll have something about that. Um, but I like the most improved one if it's relevant. And oh, looks like we're going to siege Malayurg Castle under the leadership of Asugan Noyan. Bunch of men at arms over there. Um, yeah, because obviously we don't really want to do a whole lot in the way of the sieges. We will extort the caravans, of course. Um, but yeah, there's just not much gain for a whole lot of loss, potential loss. We don't really want to lose any of our guys getting to the point where we're somewhat attached to them. And uh, yep, we got a quest from the marshal. Let's see what nonsense he wants us to do. Yeah, we're not going to get any cows. That's not what we're here for. So we'll just chill. Keep wandering around, keep an eye out for caravans. And do some little back and forthing. Oh, we've got some more lords coming our way by the look of things. Oh, and the Serenids have taken back Weya Castle from, I would assume, the Rodox. It's the one down by the uh, the coast on their border. And yeah, so once we get that Enterprise going, uh, we'll be pretty much breaking even with the Mercenary payment. And we're going to catch up to the Deserters, and when we're done with them, they'll regret leaving their army. We have 70, because uh, Urumuda Noyan has joined us, so we'll just probably charge in. Well, maybe not. Everybody's going to get stuck on trees. But on the other hand, there's only 10 of them, so it might just be best to go charge, so we'll, we'll do that. And the Kurgit units are going to be faster than us anyways, so hopefully we can get some of our guys into the battle. Skirmish, slaughter, whatever. There's the enemy.
So a counter charge is their best chance to do any damage, the uh, Swadian deserters. So they've kind of forfeited that, and here's our guys with their uh, booted gear. And we'll try to get into this mess here, and go after this guy because he's going after he's chasing a Kurgit unit by the look of it so we'll follow him around our horse should be faster ish because it has no armor even though we're just not very good at it ow oh, Quinlan's been knocked unconscious that's not super good and go for a lance but no that guy's going to get away and he's <laughs> going to take a frustrated swing at us I guess Rahimat got a Guardian Man at Arms kill then. And we got a Man at Arms. So. And there's that fight done. Wrapped up very quickly indeed. Highlights, so Kayat got two, and Kale got a Man-at-Arms. Of course, they were all Men-at-Arms, so Kayat got two Men-at-Arms in that fight, which is quite good. And we picked up some mail, which is nice. So there's our turn to do some decent looting of the battlefield, finally. Of course, yeah. We have the benefit of being a person, whereas they have the benefit of um, being guaranteed the loot of whatever units they take out. Swatty Knight, yes, there we go. Mazin. Still done not much besides take out Count Varans. And Kayat there with two men at arms taken down. Very nice, very nice. Rahimat got one of the earlier kills, I believe. And Baki didn't really participate, but he's still looking awesome with his Mamluk armor. And there's. Nope, I missed something. Yep, there we go. Zia with his 11 kills. Leading the party. And our mercenary ish units and our newer horsemen. And Quilla and Flora. <laughs> so yeah, always a good thing to save. And we get no relation boost to that. So we'll just head back over to uh, Maliurk Castle. And right as the assault's beginning to, which I guess we'll wait even longer until there's really almost nobody left. Yes, we're uh, we're being what's called a team player. Come on. Long time for anything to happen. Are we going to go in yet? I would hope so. There's only 11 guys in there. <laughs> yeah. 
so most of the guys they have left you can see on the walls and uh Of course, it's going to be some of our guys going to the Siege Tower, which I suppose really is fair because we kind of waited for them to do most of the work, so might as well be our guys getting, uh, or maybe not might as well, but it seems fitting, I guess, that it would be our guys getting uh, potentially pincushioned pushing up the Siege Tower. But again, fortunately, there's not really many of them, so... And just watch the arrows go flying around. But they are popping some shots off towards us. Some crossbow action going on. And. Or wait, no. Looks like there's like maybe a dismounted horse archer with us and the tower. And he's down. Forest Bandit and Taiga Bandit, so... It would appear that the guy keeps missing, also. And you can see those bolts come flying at our face. Don't really like it. <laughs> well, there are tons of arrows stuck in the wall. And now they're starting to get taken down. And, or I guess finished getting taken down. <laughs> so there we are. We technically participated and we got a level out of it. So that's always nice. And now we're going to finally be able to get the, well, unless we go into the castle for no reason, uh, multiple times. We're going to finally get, oh my goodness. We're going to finally get the relation bonus for participating in that siege, technically. A couple guys will start to get to know us. Get all of the bonuses. So, yep, there we go. And we'll head off away. Go sell some stuff in Nara. Oh, and extort a caravan. Nice, 227. Sweet. So that means with our mercenary payment, we've broken even for the week, or pretty close at the very least. And we'll sell a bunch of guys off. 572. We've very much broken even at this point, unless we go and buy a bunch of stuff, which we probably... Yeah, so actually we're going to try to swap out um, that mail for something that looks a little bit pretty much just cooler. Uh, with comparable stats. I mean, it's pretty much the same, so we'll just go for it like that. Just looks a little bit nicer. <laughs> Gotta be aesthetically pleasing. Gotta also maybe buy a new horse. Oh boy. Yup. And there we are. Another 1600 down. But there's caravans to extort, so we're not out too much money. So yeah, we'll, we'll uh, take care of this, and then that's pretty much gonna be it.
and get ready for a fight. If we can catch that guy.